Shalom, Shalom. This is Dr. Nabi about you here to bring you intimate truth. It's the truth that you embrace that makes you free. So a few days ago, I'm in my car and I'm having a conversation with another woman of God that I know. And I mean, sometimes, you know, these prophetic conversations can really... So I started just realizing something and then I just started talking about the work ethic of Hasatan or the adversary, Satan, the devil. The work ethic. The work, yes, he has work ethic. Let me tell, I'm so glad you're asking questions. Thank you. So let me tell you about the work ethic of the devil. He does not get distracted. He does not procrastinate. He doesn't have any doubt or any second guessing for what it is that he decides he wants to do. And he is gonna get the job done and he's gonna recruit everyone that he can to make sure as, as, as project manager, he's gonna make sure that he has everybody in place for this thing to go for. The only thing that can stop him is the Lord because he's sovereign or the believer because we have authority over all the power of the adversary. But other than that, nothing is gonna stop him. As far as he's concerned, he's unstoppable. Of course, that's a lie, he is stoppable. However, we have to be the people that realize, oh my God, I've got the authority to stop this nonsense. I have the authority to stop this joker. But yes, the work ethic of the adversary, he is not trying to hem and haw, you know, I don't know if I should do this. I'm not sure if God called me to this. He doesn't have those kind of conversations. We have those kind of conversations in our own minds. And if we had, if we as the people of God had the work ethic, and if we had the tenacity and the grit to get it done, we would get a lot more done. We would have a lot more accomplishments. We would get a lot of things done. I mean, think about it. Does this make sense or am I just like tripping? Because when you get hired for a job, an assignment, you go through the interview process and then you ask your questions because they always want you to ask questions. And by the way, if you go on an interview and they said, do you have any questions for me? They want you to have questions because they wanna know what type of person you are. It's always a test. So, work ethic. Yeah, that's what it means right there. Integrity. And we know the devil ain't got no integrity, but, <laughs> You ever heard that thing, honor among thieves? Yeah, well, he don't have no honor, but he honors his vision to make sure that it gets done. He has integrity where, no, 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 that don't, no. You're not gonna talk to them, you're gonna go talk to them. Cause when you talk to them, yeah, they, they gonna blow everything up. So he's a project manager. He knows exactly where everybody is supposed to be and in the time. Now, he doesn't know everything. He's not omniscient, he's not omnipresent. He, he, he don't have all the toys that the Lord has. He wish he did, but he doesn't. And he can't create anything. And he's a master at discord. And I'm not, first of all, don't come for me in the comments because I'm not trying to big him up. I'm trying to prove a point. Work ethic, integrity, honor, stick to itiveness, not giving up, not shrinking back. So my question, beloved, I love y'all. <laughs> my question, beloved, is where is your work ethic? Where is the integrity? 
What is the church doing? What, what are leaders doing? Are they leading? I mean, really leading. Or are they trying to pigeonhole people in their ministry because, no, they can't leave me. Really? These are my people. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, okay. So we have a lot of things going on in the body that ought not to be. But I just want to make this really quick. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Let me know. Are you now reevaluating your own work ethic and what you should be doing in the kingdom, how you're supposed to show up for the Lord and for the kingdom of God and for those around you? Are you praying for people when you say you're going to pray for them? Or is it one of those, ah, you know, life be life in, I just forgot. Not that we can't forget, but this is what I do. When you ask me to pray, I'm praying for you like right now. Because, yeah, life be life. We're going to pray. Not now, but right now. Because I don't want to forget. And I know that other things come. And I get, I get phone calls. I get phone calls. I got texts. I got all of that. I got emails. So because this is something that's not a surprise to me i already know it i gotta be on it right now what say you in the comments i am dr nabi about you to bring you intimate truth it's the truth that you embrace if you embrace embrace it uh, it's gonna make you free Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you subscribed, thank you so much. If you're liking and commenting, thank you so much. But hit the notification bell so that you always know when I'm uploading videos. God bless you. Something else to think about. Shalom, shalom. <laughs>